Hey everyone! Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how I get these soft, bouncy curls. So if you are interested in this look, please stay tuned. So I just wanted to refresh my hair, so I co-washed it and I'll be working with damp hair. And I'm just going to apply some leave-ins before I blow dry it. First, I'll be spraying this leave-in conditioner by Carol's Daughter. It's called the Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm just spraying that all over for some added moisture. And then I'll be spraying this Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer for some added strength to the hair. And to protect my hair from heat damage, I'll be applying the one and only Argan Oil to um, every section of the hair. And this is going to protect it from the heat and also give it a great sheen. So my hair is all ready to be blow dried and I'm just pinning up these two sections to get them out the way so I can start on the back section. So I untwist the section and I further detangle and smooth out the section with a paddle brush before blow drying. And I use the tension method first to stretch out the hair. I just want to make it a little bit smoother so I go in with a couple strokes of the paddle brush along with the blow dryer. And I always make sure to close the hair cuticle using the cool shot button on the blow dryer uh, to close the cuticle and make sure there's no frizz. And now I'm just twisting the section out of the way. And now I'm just repeating the same process all over. I just wanted to add that I actually like to blow out my hair first before I bantu knot because it actually gives it a stretched out look and my curls aren't as shrunken. So that's why I like to blow dry first. So now all of my hair is blow dried and I'm just parting my hair to situate it how I want the curls to fall. So now I'm just parting my hair in the sections that I will be twisting into bantu knots. And I'll be actually using coconut oil to set the curls. It's a light oil but it's also heavy enough where it will actually define the curls and light enough where it won't weigh them down. And now I'm just twirling my hair into a bantu knot. Um, unfortunately, I do not do a good job of showing how I make my bantu knot, but I hope you kind of get the gist. Um, basically, I twirl and twist the hair around, um, you know, itself, and then I wrap it around itself, if that makes sense. But if it doesn't, I'm sure you can find a better bantu knot tutorial here on YouTube. <laughs> Basically, 
basically the key to a good bantu knot is to make sure that it's tight. If it's loose, your definition won't be great. And also when you're wrapping it around, just be sure to get the hair under the last row each time. And that's how you create the spiral effect. And now it's time to take down these Bantu knots. All you have to do to take down your Bantu knots is to basically unravel in the opposite direction that you twisted it in and you shouldn't lose any definition while doing this. Obviously I'm not going to leave my hair like this because it looks weird. <laughs> so I'm going in and just separating the curls where they would naturally separate um, at first just so that I don't lose any definition and to fluff it out further. So I definitely want my hair to be bigger than this so I'm going in with my pick and just Picking out the sections and fluffing them out and getting rid of any parts that are showing. And to make it even bigger, I'm just using my fingers to fluff it out even more because bigger is always better. And that is it you guys. This is one of my favorite hairstyles to do. I do it all the time, especially when I know I have to go somewhere. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys try it out on your own and let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks again for watching. Peace guys.